In this video, we're going to focus on the pan over scale mode options in the Chart.js plugin Zoom in Chart.js. And with this option, basically what you can do is you can start to activate the pan, not basically on like what we did before with the key modifier, we have to press a key, but specifically once you are on the scale, are you, if you are over the scale, basically the mouse over on the scale at that moment, this option of, of uh, panning, the panning mode will be activated. So basically, that would mean that if you are on this scale here, and then you can start to go up and down. That's because right now we can go always up and down, but we want to only activate it, for example, only on this side, or if you are here, we would go left or right. That's basically what we're going to do. So let's start and explore how to do that. And with that, you can do here on the over scale mode with capital S and capital M. And you can see here all the options. So basically what it says is, it says is the following, which, which of the enabled panning direction should only be act available when the mouse cursor is over the scale for, the act, for that axis, all right? So that's what we're going to do right now. So let's go back here. So then here, so this one will be almost in conjunction with this. So we say over scale mode, and then here we say X and Y. And if we save this now, go back here to our chart and refresh, now if I click with the mouse and I'll go up and down, it doesn't want to respond at all. Yes. So, but the moment we are here, it will respond. Of course, so the X scale is not responding at this moment because we are full width here. However, the height here, we are now, if we're on the scale, we are on the Y scale and we're now able to go up and down. And this is basically what we're doing here. Is the over scale mode you have to be over the scale so on top or mouse over basically it's a shortcut for mouse over on the scale and then mode which is this one here so mouse over the scale which is left or right or here the the x scale or the y scale and then activate the mode x and y so that's basically what we're doing here Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.